Hi there, welcome to this Alchemist Chemistry A-Level video looking at activating groups and deactivating groups in regards to electrophilic substitution reactions involving aromatic compounds, sometimes known as EAS reactions. Now, first of all, activating groups. Now these tend to be groups that will speed up the rate of electrophilic substitution reactions. And here I have a list of some of those activating groups you might want to know. So just how do these activating groups influence benzene rings to increase their activity with electrophiles in electrophilic substitution reactions. Well, in one way or another, these activating groups will be electron donating groups. They'll be donating electron density towards the pi bonding delocalized ring system itself. That could be via some form of hyperconjugation, such as with the alkyl group, the methyl group shown here, or it could be for, via some resonance between the uh, functional group and the benzene ring structure, donating a pair of electrons towards the delocalized ring structure, such in the case of the OH group in phenol or the amine group in phenylamine. Now, at this point, I'm going to state that I'm not really going to expand upon the resonance structures found within these aromatic molecules because that will come in a different video looking at author para and meta directing groups. In this video, I've got these really lovely simplified diagrams which simply support the bullet points of information I'm making to keep things nice, crisp, and simple. So don't worry too much about the mechanistics of this. These are just the core key bullet points to focus on when answering, for example, an A level question. The next point to focus on is the implications of the electron donating nature of these activating groups. They will be increasing the electron density in the delocalized ring itself, as shown by my simplified diagram of my beefed up delocalized ring system here. Or on the other side, I've shown how things like phenol might be operating by overlapping their 2p orbital of the oxygen atom of its group with the delocalized ring itself, creating this extended delocalized ring structure. But either way, both these diagrams show that there is increased electron density in the delocalized ring once those additional electrons have been donated towards it. And that will have implications in how easily it will react with electrophiles. When a possible electrophile approaches our activated benzene ring, which is acting like a better nucleophile with more electron density in the ring itself, one of two things can happen. If the electrophile approaching is simply a molecule, it might be more easily polarized, i.e. the electron density in the ring will push electrons within the bonds of that molecule to one side, creating a delta positive. That delta positive is the electrophilic region of that molecule and then might go on to attack the benzene ring directly. Or if the electrophile itself is already quite strong, it's got a positive charge and is already a good electron pair acceptor, the benzene ring, which has been activated, will simply be more susceptible to electrophilic attack and will therefore react more easily. This will mean that electric substitution will happen more easily and readily at a lower energy configuration or a lower energy requirement than a normal benzene ring would need. So we've seen what activating groups can do. Now we're going to consider what deactivating groups do to reduce the reactivity of benzene rings to EAS reactions. Here I've got a list of some common deactivating groups you might come across. And the common thread or theme that is linking them all together is that they all possess electronegative atoms, which will be doing a very different job to the positive resonance or the positive hyperconjugation of our activating groups. So contrary to activating groups, deactivating groups are electron withdrawing in nature. They will be taking away, withdrawing electron density from the localized ring towards the deactivating group itself. This will have the effect of decreasing the electron density in the localized ring system as shown by my rather emaciated delocalized ring here, which has lost electron density, is bereft of electron density. And now we see the exact opposite is true to our activating groups in terms of what's happening to our electrophile. Approaching electrophiles are now less easily polarized because the benzene ring structure is, is a less good nucleophile, has less electron density to do that polarizing and push electrons around in the approaching molecule. It will also be less susceptible to electric attack from strong electrophiles because it has less electron density to donate towards the positive charge of the approaching electrophile. Either way, electric substitution reactions will happen less easily and less readily and require more energy for further substitution reactions to take place. This is reflecting the fact that often the conditions involved if a, if a deactivating group is attached to a benzene ring will need to be more vigorous with higher temperatures to push the reaction on further. Whereas with activating groups, you'd need less stringent conditions, possibly not a catalyst or lower temperatures, reflecting the greater uh, ease of the reaction itself. Okay, guys, I hope you found that useful and it helps to explain the nature of activating deactivating groups with aromatic chemistry. Um, I'm going to look at um, directing groups next with some more a more mechanistic approach. You can see the direction of travel of electrons using curly arrows more than I showed in this video. Hope you can join me for that. As always, guys, a pleasure talking to you. Take care. Bye now.